Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read. Hello. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Mrs. Deborah Clark from the Mildred L. Terry Public Library. And welcome to Alberta's Storytime. You heard me sing as I was coming on. I was singing about the five skills for early literacy. And they are talk, sing, read, write, and play. These are skills that we as parents and caregivers can put into place to ensure that our children are ready for kindergarten. Won't you say them with me? They are talk, sing, read, write, and play. Let's sing that song. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Talk, sing, read, write, play. Make a reader every day. Very good. Boys and girls, I'm so glad to be back here with you all sharing story time. But before I share my story time, I need to greet you and say hello. Are you ready? Will you help me sing the hello song? Okay. Now it's time to say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Now it's time to say hello and start our story time. Very, very. Hi, boys and girls. Today we will be reading about a fish that has some beautiful, shimmery, shiny scales. And he has been asked by his friends to share his scales. Have you ever had anything that was important to you that somebody else wanted? Let's find out what happened with Rainbow Fish. Rainbow Fish by Marcus Feister. He is beautiful, isn't he? A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkly scale, silver scales among them. Wow, he is beautiful. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. Now, is that any way to treat your friends? They asked him to come play, and he didn't answer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. Oh, look, he's admiring rainbow fish's scales. He says, you have so many. May I have just one? Do you think rainbow fish is going to share with him? Let's find out. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? Cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked. The little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. You see, he treated the little blue fish mean and he told his friends. And so they were like, no, we don't want to play with you because you don't want to share. What good were the dazzling, shimmery scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. Rainbow Fish is sad now because he's lonely. He doesn't have any friends. That's not a good feeling when nobody wants to play with you, is it? The Rainbow Fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then, suddenly, Two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. Here's the octopus. I have been waiting for you, 
said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. Hmm. She said for the rainbow fish to give away his scales. He wasn't going to be beautiful, but he was going to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales. Never. How could I be happy without them? Rainbow fish, he didn't want to share, did he? No, he didn't want to share. Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please, don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Okay, so he's going to give that fish a scale. This is just one little tall, one little small scale. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. Oh look, he gave him a scale. The little blue fish was so happy and so was Rainbow Fish. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scales flashing. So it didn't take long before the Rainbow Fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The Rainbow Fish shared his scales left and right. And the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Oh, look at that. Now everybody has a shimmery, shiny scale. And Rainbow Fish feels very, very happy because he shared. Finally, the Rainbow Fish had one shiny scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they call. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the Rainbow Fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Oh, look at that. He has friends now because you know why? Because sharing makes you feel good. <laughs> the end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. Practice writing skills using shaving cream. Here's a great sensory exercise to help encourage preschoolers to develop their writing skills. To start this handwriting activity, grab a cookie sheet and spray cream, shaving cream on top of it. Using a popsicle stick, spread the shaving cream all over the cookie sheet. You can teach your preschoolers to write the letters that they know. They can write the letters in their name. They can copy a letter that you show them. They can write a letter to the sound. They can also draw shapes. Children will love the feel of the shaving cream. They will also love how easy it is to erase a mistake by smearing the shaving cream. This is fun. This is super easy to clean up.
I hope you enjoyed this activity. Hey, boys yeah. and girls. Now we're going to learn through playing. Today we have a flannel story entitled Five Little Ocean Friends. And meet our friends, we have the, what is that? Can anybody tell me what that is? Very good, that's a starfish. And what about that one? That's a lobster. And what about that one? That's a seahorse. That one, a crab and an octopus. Very good. Five little ocean friends on the ocean floor. The starfish walks away. Now there are four. Four little ocean friends living in the sea. The crab slides away. Now there are three. Three little ocean friends looking for a clue. Glub, glub, said the lobster. Now there are two. Two little ocean friends not having much fun off swam the seahorse. Now there is one. One little octopus sad and all along. That swims the starfish. That swims a crab. That swims a lobster. That swims the seahorse. And they played in the sea foam, safe in their home. Very good. Boys and girls, we're gonna share one more story before we end this story time. This story is entitled, The Pop-Up Commotion in the Ocean, and it's written by Giles Andrea and David Washowitz. The Pop-Up Commotion in the Ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You will find every creature that lives beneath the sea. Swimming through the pages of this book. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You will find every creature that lives beneath the sea. Swimming through the pages of this book. <gasps> wow, what is that? There is a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. <gasps> what is that? <gasps> starfish. How many are there? One, two starfish. An angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling, the prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. She is lovely, isn't she? Blue whale. Wow. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long. From the top tip of, from the from his head to the tip of his tail. What is that? <gasps> Starfish. Penguins. We waddle about on our iceberg bergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get too close to the water, we leap with the splash off the side. Splash. There's the starfish. Octopus, wow. Having eight arms can be useful. You might think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. <laughs> wow. Tickle, tickle, ha ha. <sighs> Shark, I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Thank you, Ben. 
Well, thank you, boys and girls, for allowing me to share those stories with you. We'll see you next week. And for our goodbye song, now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. And we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win. CVLGA.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.